Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the schematics and the bevel for the USB to UR CH three hundred forty chip. Okay. So first, let's take a look at the schematics. So this is the schematic. For this test board, we actually design the two chip, 340C and 340N. This two chip in one board, because this is the simplest one. Uh, usually, we will use this RX and the TX, and these provide more signal to communicate with our um, microcontroller or FPGA. Okay, so this is two typical chip we used in our application. So this is a uh, uh, USB uh, micro USB connector. This is micro USB connector. This is a uh, USB bus voltage is 5 volt. We connect one capacitor here. And this is a USB data, data bus. This is D minus and D plus. And this is ID and this is ground. And this is LED. Uh, the power supply is from the USB connector here. The LED here. When the USB plug into the USB connector, when the USB cable plug into the USB connector, the, U the LED will turn on, will turn on, okay? So this is the uh, USB to UR chip, 340C, okay? We wire out all the signal here we wire out all the signal to the connector, to this connector. Notice the one thing, and uh, for this chip, the power supply we connect to the to here. We didn't directly connect to, to the USB 5.4 because from previous video we know this chip. If it is use three point three volt, uh, for this chip, if this power supply to connect a three point three volt, and this V three needed to connect the VCC also, needed to this pin need to connect here. So we wire out all the signal, including the V including the VCC for the chip and also V3 also the V3 control pin we wire out all here also we wire out the USB 5 volt here so for the testing purpose, purpose for the testing purpose we can direct directly connect this one with this one so it can power this chip by the 5 volt. Also, we can connect this one to your computer, to your microcontroller board, the 3.3 volt. Similarly, we wire out all these signals all this signal from this chip to this connector, okay, to this connector. Also, uh, the power supply, the power supply for the end, we put it here. This 5 volt, we put it here, okay. So if we want to use the USB power supply, we just connect this pin with this pin, okay? And if we want to 
power zips power this chip from 3.3 volt from other board so we just need we just uh, need to connect uh, this pin to your board to your power supply okay so this is a schematic for the board uh, let's take a look at the bare board the actually bare board let me open my camera okay so this is uh, uh, this is uh, bare board for this testing uh, board okay so you will see here so this is uh, uh, micro micro USB connector and uh, this is a uh, uh, 340C chip and uh, this is the signal interface we wire out all the signal here and uh, this is another USB connector and uh, this is a 340N chip and uh, this is a uh, uh, signal wire out connector okay we wire out all the uh, signal here and uh, for this board we can connect a 5 volt also we can connect uh, the 3.3 volt from from another board from the uh, another MCU or FPGA uh, FPGA board okay so this is uh, uh, so this is a bare board and also this is a uh, uh, schematic for it okay this is a schematic for the board you will see the design actually very simple the design actually very simple just uh, a few capster just the two capster here okay two capster here so if you use uh, uh, 3.3 volt even no need this capster no need this capster just uh, directly connect uh, to the USB USB uh, connector directly connected to the USB connector so the design for the chip is very simple okay so next time um, we will solder this ball uh, we will solder this ball and uh, do the test for it to see whether it uh, can work correctly or not okay so this is this video i'm michael see you next time